Hey, yeah, I'm coming back to you real quick because I got some peace and quiet, which is rare. So, um, you know, you got to kind of creep where the most high makes away, but you kind of got to navigate that. So I wanted to take some time while I had some peace and quiet and a clear mind to um, speak on some things. And one thing for me about, and I keep on emphasizing this because I am, um, but, you know, that whole family aspect is true, bro. Like, when I listen to people's stories, when I hear what they're talking about and their involvement with their family, I want to say 2% of us um, have those out there whose family are really for them or the facade, you know what I mean, that they're holding up. But I want to say, like, they're being what I mean is you can tell, you can tell quickly. And I mean, either your family is going to be affected by this or they're not. It's simple. Are they going through the symptoms? It's like it's like Pepto-Bismol. Either you have the symptoms or you don't. So either your family has the same symptoms you have or they don't. And nine chances out of ten, in my experience, in my research, 98% being fair of the elect target individuals Families are part of your gang stalking. Like, I stayed at my people's house for a couple of days um, for a change of scenery because they live out in the woods, and that's what I needed. Long story short, they stomping over your head deliberately. Like my brother, um, he, you know, he's full of himself, 22 years old. Uh, my other brother, he's moved out. So, you know, they stomp mom, grandmother, dad, stomping, slamming doors, cabinets, Make, you know the usual noise campaign, making a whole bunch of noise, always got to be in your face, useless, pointless conversations, trying to start. I mean, but you know, if and I'm, this is no offense, but like, cause, because we know the women of the Most High Yah govern themselves in a different manner. So I'm speaking to the women who don't govern themselves in, in the ordinance of the Most High, which is the majority of women. But you got to understand, like, these dudes act like women because, you know, women are dramaful, right? So we know women are drama, right? We know that, you know, by nature, unless you are of the elect because we know we move differently. I'm only speaking on those PSYOP women out here, which are about 99%. So back to what I'm saying. We know women are dramaful. They like chaos. And so, it, you know, but, you know, when it comes a, a line between that and when you're family. So like I was saying, you know, they make a whole bunch of noise, slamming doors. They try to be secretive and, and, and try to, like, act like they're home or they're not home, that whole thing. And, um, you know, like, you know, they know I don't eat pork, so they will purposely cook pork dishes or they'll have maybe get me something that they know I'm not going to partake in because it's primarily pork on it. Um, or they'll get certain things that I don't like and offer it to me as a kind gesture. Um, and it's all an attempt to piss me off, to throw me off my, my, my balance, right? My, you know, and, and then when you confront them about it, amnesia kicks in, you know, you would think that everybody that I, that my, and my family had dementia or Alzheimer's because anytime you go to confront them, about something that they knowingly are participating in, that if they would sit their dumb asses down for about a minute, I could then show to them, based on the people I follow and don't, how their family are doing the same thing, how repetitive it is, right? But they don't, well, you know, like my good brother said, they don't, and it's for good reasons. You know, everything that they can tell me at the end of the day is offering help. They want us, they want me to offer help in the form of mental uh mental health that's that's the only help they think that is suitable for me and that's really a only a point to take away my protection when i'm most well, high my protection but physical protection right and to uh limit my job which they limit that anyway and um uh to get me on medication legally like they can you make it so that you have court ordered medication. Like you cannot operate by yourself out here, right? Function as a citizen. We know that we're the only citizens out here. There's, we are, there's only a couple of us out here um, without 
a medication and that medication allows them to then do more voice to skull create more paranoia um control you even more basically take you over that's the whole point so your family's involvement whether they get to keep their money they get investments or they're receiving money it's all about money to them they're not just doing it for the fuck of it nobody's doing this shit for no reason all right they do this for money uh, another thing when people keep on these are demons bro you understand this shit is demonic these people have sold out look bro when you understand i keep on people talking about play the game there's no game to play there's no game you cannot cooperate with we, we don't negotiate with terrorists have you ever heard that shit before super bad we don't negotiate with terrorists terrorism you don't negotiate with the enemy and that's like bro that pissed me off when i hear people talking about negotiating with the enemy like bro after all this shit we done been through niggas out here really lives on the line every damn day we out here you know really going through this shit and, and niggas out here talking about siding with the enemy trying to make a you can't make no satan don't do no deals bro don't you understand it okay you the in in you, you blood in blood out that that should be enough for a lot of you dudes blood in blood out that's what this game is bro you all in all out you can't just pull back bro they they don't you understand they've been watching niggas they excuse my language they've been watching us controlling us without us knowing it to now we know we're trying to regain control now they have been controlling us to the point where they want to but they've kind of been pushing us in directions to try to set up traps and after all we've been through you think i would ever side with the enemy you think i'm ever going to go and shake hands with the enemy you think I'm going to ever go and try to uh, uh, reconcile? No, bro. They're dead to me. To the day that we transition. I want to have nothing to do with these dudes. I don't give a fuck about none of them. I'm not going back. I'm not trading spaces. I want to be your homie. I want to be your friend. I want to be your boyfriend. I want to be your husband. You feel me? Oh, you're dead to me. This world is dead to me. All right? There's, there's no deals to be had. It's not... Make a deal. Deal, no deal. There is going to be no deal every time. So everybody who hearing this, if you're fed, if you're the ops, there's no deals to be had. I'm not, we not, ain't no plea deals. I'm not taking no deals. I'm in this the long way. Whatever happens, happens. I'm in it for the long haul. Right? So, you know, it's, you don't make no deals with Satan. You either make a deal. You get a little bit of money. Because you understand, bro, we so powerful by by the grace and the power of the Most High Yah that, it, that we really would take over. So this is not a situation of us being mediocre. There's nothing mediocre about me. I'm speaking for myself right now. There's nothing mediocre, dull, dry, bland about me. Okay, so is you're not going to put me, you're not going to give me an inch and expect for me to stay there. It just, it wouldn't happen if I wanted to. I, I could try. It just wouldn't happen. I'm going to go off. It's just how I am. So they're not going to give us an inch because they know we're going to run with it. You can't fool them, especially when they manipulate your thoughts and your mind, bro. Like, we got to understand the game at hand. The game at hand is they already know what we're going to do. That's why they're trying to stop us. They already know it takes one of us. Like, bro, let's be real. We take on states at a time, bro. Do you understand that? No matter what state you live in, you're taking on everybody in that state every day, all day, bro. So you think, like, come on, bro, let's be real. We got to pat ourselves on the shoulder a little bit, bro. We got to big ourselves up. Uh, we take on states, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, in a year, three, four, five year span. So just imagine what we do around 10, 15 people in a workplace. Me? I turn up. They know they can't control me. I treat the boss like the janitor and the janitor like the boss. Everybody get the same respect. You get less if you give me less. That's just how it works. You cannot hold a position over my head. I'll be gone as quick as I left. That's just how this goes. Why? Because I know my worth. I know my value. So 
I don't go to interviews. I don't talk to people begging, begging, please, please, sir, chucking, jiving. I never will, never have. That's just not in me. It don't even feel right. So what I'm saying is keep the faith. You know what I mean? We, you know, we work the, we work together better. You know what I mean? We work better together than we do separate. We, you know, all the primary positions out here that's making money we possess. It's just going to take time for us to get together, network, do what we got to do to build an empire. That's really what it comes down to, building an empire. We can't expect the enemy to help us out. That's foolish. Shalom, bro. We out here.